And so I want to ask this question, man. How do you measure success? What What is success to you? Um, I know this, man. A lot of people have been asking me about a car, a new car. But y'all that don't know, man, um, I wrecked my car a while back when I got a DUI. I got a video on my YouTube about the DUI. You can go check that out. And uh, please don't drink and drive. So I got an Impala now. I've been having this Impala ever since I wrecked my other car. So I'm usually having fancy, fast type of cars. And since I changed what's valuable to me now, what success means to me now, Su success for me no longer mean having top of the line cars. Success for me don't mean having a whole lot of money. You know, success don't mean having my own place. That's not success to me. Success don't mean being able to go to the store by my daughter, whatever she like, whatever. Daddy, I want that. Okay, we got that. That's not success to me. That's just another form of my responsibility and me spoiling my daughter with something that I work hard for. But that's not success to me. So I'm trying to understand what is success for you, man. Let me say this. Don't let somebody else put a value on what success is for you. Success for me is helping kids around the world. People tell me all the time, man, you're so successful, man. You're so blessed. You got all this stuff. You can go do whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? You got the uh, resources. You got the funds. You... I'm not successful yet, though. You know why I'm not? Hold on. Let me let me start this. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay. I'm not successful yet, though. I'm headed there. How do I get to where I want to be for successful? It take hard work, dedication. It take me spending a lot of time in that work because I need the money to be able to complete my mission. For me to help kids around the world, bro, I can't be broke. It's just that simple. A lot of y'all, like, this is why I don't brag about none of that stuff now. I don't brag about all that bull crap that I used to do or that I that I have come, you know, that I'm doing now or that I'm receiving now. You know what I'm saying? Then a lot of people feel to understand, man, I'm working seven days a week. I should be able to go buy whatever I want. I should be able to, to, to do, give my daughter whatever she wants. I should be able to, to, to live nice, you know, but what you feel to understand, that's not success to me. None of this is success to me. Success to me is when I'm able to put together my projects to help kids around the world. That's my mission. That's my purpose. People at work keep saying, man, you making all this money. Why you still riding around in the Impala? Really, bro? You still put some rims on there or something. I already done did that. I already done been there. Go go check my... I don't like to say it, but go check my history, man. I already had all that stuff people talking about. All the fancy cars. All the rims. The system. The, all that shit. I done been there. I'm 27, bro. Like, you feel me? I'm 27 years old. I know I, know I look younger than that, but I'm kind of like... I'm close to 30, man. I know I look a little older, but I'm close to 30, bro. Like, I'm pushing 30, and my mission is to help kids around the world. My mission is to not to buy no more fucking cars, man. I'm tired of people asking me why I don't got a new car yet. Why are you making all this money and you still riding around in, in, in an Impala? Really, bro? What's wrong with me riding around in an Impala? Man, I don't. My money is going to my purpose and my purpose only. And I'm just like, this is what people will do to you. And I'm strong enough to handle it. I just want to make sure you're strong enough to handle it. Whatever you got in life that you want to do, bro, don't let nobody stop you, man. Don't let nobody peer pressure you to waste your money on something that don't put value in what you're trying to do and what you stand for. I stand for wanting to help kids. I know people look at me and be like, man, ain't no way that dude talking about he really want to help some kids. Like, really? Bro, y'all don't even understand. I ain't even came out with my full background story yet. For the people that are new to me and don't really know, I ain't even came. Bro, I had I, something happen in my life that made me want to help kids. You feel me? As I can say, for an example, bro, you know, growing up without a mother. Growing up and seeing kids struggle, man. Yeah, I got hit early with that bug. Even though I I kind of, I would go in and out of stages of, man, I want to help kid. 
Then I jump on to some more shit. I want to help kids. Jump on some more. I finally found the place in my life where I'm sticking to what I want to do. I'm sticking to it. I, I'm sticking to it. This is what I want to do in life. I, this is what my purpose is to live in. Helping kids. Not to be buying no motherfucking cars. Not to be furnishing this whole house. You know what I'm saying? People ask me why you ain't like why you ain't furnish your whole house yet. I don't need to. This is not my house. It's my house because I pay for it, but this is not where my heart at. This is not my home. My home is on the road, bro. Helping kids around the world. You feel me? This is what you got to do. You got to put yourself in a path that's going to show you what your purpose is. Like, if I say my purpose is on the road, why am I furnishing the house? You feel me? Why am I buying a new car? Why am I buying a car that... That, that I'm, I don't need because I'm going to be in planes, traveling the fucking world, helping kids. You see, that's where I put my heart at. That's where I put my money at. I got projects coming, man. I'm telling you, I got some projects in the work. I'm building connection, man. A lot of people uh, helping me out, man. You know, they, they see where I'm trying to go. They see, hey, man, young black dude, man. He done, he done been through some shit. You know, just look at my tattoos and you can, and you can get a glimpse of what I'm saying. I done been there and did all that. So I don't got to prove nothing to nobody. And, and that's just like with females. Man, ain't no way you doing all that. And you be saying all this stuff. And you be putting all this stuff on YouTube. Bro, I, I don't have to prove it. But just know. And the females out there that, they know. Man, that dude, bro. A woman? Like, come on, bro. Listen. Focus on your success. What success is to you. It's different for me. I don't need no new car to make myself. Bruh, I'm fucking top. And you know what's so crazy? One of my female driver, 2019 BMW. The other one driver, 2000 and I'm a, I want to say an 18 or a 19 um, Nissan. One driver fucking, what, 2000 and about 16. Um, she got an Altima. I'm fucking top of the line females driving an Impala. You see what I'm talking about? Because my money right, my body right. I don't got to prove to, you know what I'm saying? I don't need a car to say, hey, man, look at him. He got it. I found out what the rich people was doing, baby. I found out what the rich people was doing. And I'm following suit. A rich motherfucker don't got to show a motherfucker he rich. He just rich. I found the cheat code, bro. I found the cheat code. So for 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 the people that keep asking me why I don't got no fucking why I'm making all this money and I ain't got a new car yet, I already in the had it all. Go ask about me. I already in the had every car you could think of. I either tore it up or gave it away or uh, or it went back or I moved. You know what I'm saying? Left it like let's just ask. I already done did all the shit that y'all asking me why I'm not doing. I already done had money before and did. Listen, y'all. My purpose is kids, bro. It's not changing. I done changed and I done fell off the wagon so many times. I'm finally comfortable with who I am. People be like, man, you 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 friend. Okay. Watch these events I got coming up. Strictly for kids. I, I'm, 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 I'm changing the game. Because that's what I want to do. That's what my heart at, baby. I love it. I'm happy. I'm content. You feel me? Y'all have a great night, man. Don't let nobody knock you off your purpose. And I'm not, you know, making this video in a rage and that, but I'm just excited because I love when I talk about shit like this. I get passionate, man. And, you know, man, the fact that you, like, when you find your purpose, bro, can't no, don't let nobody change your direction. Stay, stick with what you, what you believe in. You believe you need to make this football team, a basketball team, a baseball, singer, dancer, you know, a scripper, you believe you supposed to be the best scripper in the world? Stick to it. Don't let nobody come and say, man, you scripping, really? No, fuck that. You a good scripper, be a good scripper. You know what I'm saying? You a good preacher, be a good preacher. Don't let nobody fucking, you know, turn you down off of what you believe you supposed to be. Success is different for everybody. Success in the, is an opinion. Motherfucker, homeless man can say he's successful. It's all up here. Success ain't what somebody else think. Success is what you think. Let's show the world, baby. Uh.
Let's go. Come on, man. The shot is there. Wow, great reach. I been went up. That's the crazy know, part. Right? Like two K. <laughs> I ain't got a roadblock up that bitch. <laughs> Oh, you did say that though. On time. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Not don't do that move no more. That's tough. <laughs> don't do that move no more. This shit. He said this sec security shit easy, Unc. I'm getting paid watching you at work. Nah, no, for real though. But see, I, I work at. I'm gonna see now. Well, I feel you. I feel what you're saying. It is easy. Out. I, I, I don't want to say it like that, but different levels. You know phones. You know, you you have a phone. It's a GG. It's a GG. You you gonna go clock out. Um, you know, Avis and Co. A Co and Avis. Jury, I don't know if I'm saying it right. I probably, yes, yeah, the jury spot. Them niggas, if nah, yeah, them niggas, man, don't even. You might well go and sign your release form. Like, what, nigga, you talking about one time? It can't even come in the building. Right. Can I get one more, please? And I don't want no more. Fuck you, fucked up my shooting percentage, bro. You ain't had to pass it back, bro. Yeah, you supposed to hit spank, man. Spank, what's your steal on? Two. Yo, look at Claw. What in the world am I watching? Yo, you don't get that steal? Bruh, no way you don't get that steal, bruh. That is, that is wild. Look at that pass, though. Come on, Spank. I see you curling, dog. Hmm. That boy really shot that. <laughs> GG, say goodnight. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> hey, watch this in and out. Or out and in. Okay. Yeah, nah, I ain't shooting that. <laughs> Yeah, you shoot that, though. Yeah, that's green right there, though. Oh, hey, we got a game up, too. What's your ball handling? Um, My ball handling is 93. I'm thinking about making a 6-7 LaMelo bill. Like I said, the only thing about the taller bills, yeah, they. if you're not a, a person that prides yourself in dribbling, don't make a big bill. I'll tell you that right now. If you're not a person that know how to make, if you're not a person that made YouTube videos to show other people how to dribble, don't make no big deal. You're going to be um, upset when you play against a real lockdown. So for people like me, my dribbling is probably a level, <laughs> a C plus. I need speed. If you got a, if you got a good dribbling, because you got to be shifty. The big bill not gonna be fast, so you gotta know how to pick your moves. You gotta be patient. 
them the only type of people that can use the big build. Patient dribblers. Picking their moves. Knowing the animation. You you go out there with a big build and you don't know how to dribble, bro. What are you going to do? What you going to do? What you going to do? Now, you ain't going to do nothing. You ain't going to do nothing. All you going to do is waste your time and, and, and somebody else's time. Now, if you got speed, it can counter for your poor dribbling ability. 